Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today I am going to do a little bit of catch up on the vlog, but I also have a really important meeting later on today that I'm super excited about. It's something that I'll share as much as I possibly can with you. Uh, there's some things I may not be able to share. I'm not 100% sure, but regardless, we are going to have an amazing day. And I hope the start of your day, evening, morning, whenever you happen to be watching is amazing. Can you do me a favor and go down in the comments and let me know how your day is? Tell me something amazing about yourself because I love reading about you guys. Why don't we just push all our problems aside today and have a great time. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this. And when I said I wanted to catch up on a couple things, I actually had some footage from the other day when we got mealworms in. Remember when we were feeding a bunch of snakes and I said, oh, the mealworms got postponed today and I wanted to show you guys. So I actually did get the mealworms the next day and we filmed a bunch of stuff, but then life kind of got crazy. I mean, you guys know the story, so I don't want to rehash that. But I did want to share that footage of how we feed our leopard geckos because I thought you guys would be interested and a bunch of people down in the comments said they wanted to see, so go ahead and roll that clip. Remember yesterday we did a big feed day with all our animals and I said that we were gonna feed our geckos mealworms, but the mealworms got delayed because of some weather issue. Not really sure. Well, they finally got in. Just to give you an idea, this is what 160,000 mealworms look like. And ironically enough, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, they were sent from our source and they're actually not the source that we typically buy from. So obviously our source was getting them from this source and sending them to kind of drop ship me anyways. These are gonna be so annoying to unpack. Why? Look at all these boxes. I've gotta <laughs> open every single box. <laughs> I know. Yeah, normally they come in much bigger boxes and there's a bunch of different bags, but these ones are 50,000 per box per bag. They're actually boxed pretty cool and I've seen this bug co uh, at a few different places. I'll be honest with you, I haven't personally dealt with them, but we'll see what their mealworms look like. Like I said, my source must have bought them from Bug Co. to give them to us, which is good because we needed them, so thank you for that. So it's a good thing that they at least supplied us because our lizards need to eat. But so I'm gonna have uh, Jessica and Eric, they're gonna unload all these, uh, get them up, and then we're gonna put them in with a bunch of geckos and hopefully we'll get uh, some geckos eating as well. <laughs> we're wondering what 160,000 mealworms look like to set up and to feed off. You're about to find I know. Okay, so all the mealworms are set up. Now they have to do a frantic pace of feeding all the geckos. Because the mealworms came in late, of course, now they have to catch up and feed all of the geckos today. So you have to do all the geckos today. Today, yep, yep. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be a lot. That's a lot of cages. I mean, to give you an idea, that's about 3,000 geckos that need mealworms put in. And of course, we have to put vitamin powder on them as well. We do calcium as well as a vitamin multivitamin. So so the, the process is literally lots of mealworms, dusting for things, hit every single cage as it goes. So you've got your work cut out. For yeah, we, we really do. It's not hard to do though. You don't wanna leave here thinking, oh, I didn't feed that little gecko. He's gonna be hungry all weekend. So it's not a problem to stay here, get it done. Happy geckos, happy birds. Ryan, happy paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Eric is gonna start on one side, Jessica's gonna start on the other, and then they're just gonna flip around until all of them are done. And of course, if they need a hand, I will jump in and help them out, although I think they've got it handled. quick update you know everyone's always asking me about the animals that might not get in the vlog all the time and of course Helen would be one of them it's been a little bit since I've kind of given you an update on her she's been doing so good she has fed every single time that we've offered her food since she's getting going so she is doing really good and listen guys I just want to let you know that don't get stressed out if I don't update something just because it's not in the vlog all the time doesn't mean that it's disappeared it's just that there's so much going on I can't get everything in the vlog every single day so a lot of times people will be like oh my 
my god, I haven't seen Helen in two weeks. Is, did something happen to her? I promise if anything happens, I'm going to let you guys know. Another thing that I haven't showed you guys in a while, and it is just so incredible, is remember those Suriname red tail boas I got? Take a look at how crazy they are. Again, as they get sized, the tail just gets redder and redder. Ooh, this one's got a little feisty attitude today. Oh, it's okay, buddy. You're all right. But look at how amazing that thing is. Isn't it freaking cool? And there's a couple other ball pythons that I think are absolutely stunning as I was going through things today. Just like, oh my God. Remember this pastel lesser vanilla cream? I mean, my God. Gosh, that thing is so crazy. And you know, the vanilla cream is basically another allelic animal. I talked about allelic stuff before with like super stripes and pumas and stuff. Well, this is the same thing. And this is when you breed a vanilla to a fire. And actually, early on, people thought the vanilla and the fire might be the exact same gene and that they both might be white snake producers. But when they bred them together, out popped this thing. But again, it's allelic, so it's something that you can't reproduce unless you breed a vanilla and a fire together. You can't get it like a bumblebee or something like that. Another cool allelic animal, of course, is this pastel orange dream super stripe. That orange dream just really changes the dynamics of this animal. I mean, it is freaking incredible. And back to another vanilla animal that I think is so cool. Of course, this is a bamboo vanilla woma pastel. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. And I love the bamboo stuff, but this particular combination, I think the vanilla is what does it. The vanilla and the bamboo mixed together. Oh my God. Gosh, that thing is just on fire. So there's just a quick update. Again, I didn't want you guys to think that if I'm not showing Helen or whomever the animal might be, that there's anything wrong with it, because believe me, it's perfectly fine. All right, so back to this kind of crazy meeting that I'm having. I'm actually gearing up to head out right now. I have to head into the city of Detroit. It's about an hour away from here, and I have to go to kind of a fancy building you'll see in a few minutes. And I'm meeting with a group of people. They're an investment group about a potential project in the city of Detroit. I can't say too much about it because it's in the very early stages but essentially you guys know that I have always wanted to have a reptile zoo I wanted to do something really cool and we're doing the thing next door which is going to be a really small version but this investment group because of tourism in the city of Detroit they're considering doing something really large you know something really big maybe even a public aquarium that's attached to a serpentarium um, again I can't get into too much detail but it's definitely like my dream come true if something like this happens but this is the very first stages so we've had some emails back and forth. They're excited about it. I'm excited about it. Now we're meeting in person and we got to go through this process. The process honestly could take a year, two years before we even get things rolling because there's so much red tape that has to go through and we're just really starting to talk. So I don't know what's going to happen, but you know, I'm always going to follow my dreams and this is definitely one of my big dreams and, and I can't be more excited about the potential. Uh, I hope it all works out. Again, I'm going to just gear up, kind of get out of here, head down there, have this meeting. Uh, I'll take you guys as far as I possibly can in this meeting. I'm sure I'm going to have to shut it off when the actual meeting goes down. And then after the meeting, I'll tell you kind of what happened. So what do you say we shut it down here and hit the road and head into Detroit? As you guys can see, the weather isn't exactly great out here. We're getting a ton of snow today, so it's not exactly the best day to be traveling into the city. Uh, and the truth is, is I've been down here a couple times to the Fisher Building, but I don't even know where I'm supposed to be parking. So uh, I left a little early so I can hopefully find my way to the Fisher Building and, and find a place to park and eventually find my way to this particular meeting. And you know, a lot of people might be wondering when you have a meeting like this, how do you, how do you approach it? I mean, you can kind of see that I'm dressed in a t-shirt, jeans. Uh, I'm just being myself, you know what I mean? I think that that's the best thing when you're dealing with people is to not try to put on some kind of false facade. I mean, you are who you are. If they want to deal with me about this particular potential reptile zoo, uh, they're going to want to deal with me. They're not going to want to deal with someone that's dressed up and, and acting like something they're not. So I'm just going in there being myself. And as for am I nervous about things, you know, I've been in so many meetings for so many different things from TV to all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, I guess there's always a little bit of nervousness. If you don't have a little bit of butterflies you probably have something wrong with you but the fact is is that nowadays I go and I just have a good time like I said I'm myself I'm gonna be who I am I'm gonna show that I'm extremely passionate about the things that I do uh, and if they decide hey this is a guy we want to partner up with and we want to do this massive project then hey we're gonna do it the thing I don't want to have happen is to act like someone I'm not and then we get halfway through this project and they're dealing with someone that they didn't think they were dealing with I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be exactly who you guys see every single day and if they like it and they 
they think this is the way to go, then they're gonna go with it. But regardless, uh, definitely have a little ways to go. Hopefully I'll find the stupid parking in this and uh, the snow will slow down a little bit for me. But uh, hey, we're gonna have a great time and whatever is meant to be, is gonna be. That skyscraper right there, that's the building I'm going to for this investment group. So uh, uh, I guess they own that building, which is pretty freaking awesome. All right, so it is snowing like crazy here. I'm in the city of Detroit, and again, that's the building I'm going to right now. It's called the Fisher Building, and it's pretty famous here in Detroit. Oh my gosh, the snow is so bad. So uh, I still don't exactly know what office I'm going to, so I have to just go in there and see if I can find my way around. It's a big building. It's a, I don't even know how big it is, but regardless, uh, let's get inside because it is winter out here. Oh, this place is pretty massive. It's pretty amazing. Here we go, on our way up to the 23rd floor. Hey, Roger, <laughs> sir. What's going on, man? Good, How are you? Good to see you. All right, so just out of an hour and 45 minute meeting, and you know, it's really exciting to kind of get this thing started. I mean, it's the very early stages of a long process, to be totally honest with you, but it's really cool to literally be in a meeting with people that are some of the leading developers of property in the city of Detroit. So these people literally are developing massive things, including a $100 million project for the Detroit Pistons. So it gives you an idea. So it's pretty cool to have the ear of a company like this that think it's a neat idea to have something like an attraction in the city of Detroit that would be reptiles. Now, again, it's a very early preliminary meeting. They were excited. I'm excited. Uh, we have a long way to go. I have no doubt that this process is going to take months, maybe even years possibly, but it's still cool to just be at the table for something that I'm so passionate about. And I hope it kind of just shows you the possibility in life is that if you just really go after the things that you're passionate about, believe in it, it doesn't matter how impossible possible it sounds because the truth is is nothing is impossible I mean if you believe in yourself and you believe in something and you're super passionate about it other people are gonna believe in you too so uh, again just to wrap up the meeting I can't go into details about everything we talked about but it certainly was a really good meeting a great time I really enjoyed myself and I think that we are definitely in the beginning stages of something pretty amazing so uh, that's uh, the wrap-up for that meeting I popped over to the building for a little checkup on the animals everything is doing good here so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of this kind of disjuncted day in the sense that I played some old footage and then I took you guys along on a journey that is hopefully going to be something really amazing in the future. I will do my best to keep you as updated as possible as things go, but this is a process. It's going to take some time. Regardless, I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day, morning, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me. Your support is amazing and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors? today please can you smash that like button for me as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow